Yo guys, uh, my name is Bossman Sam, and today we're going to be going over how to make custom clothing for 5M. Um, I'm not going to, you know, waffle on. I'm just going to get straight into it. Uh, and so the first thing we need is Open IV, uh, and to get that, we're going to go to this website here, GTA5mod.net. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. We're going to go to Open IV, as you can see up here. We're going to scroll down. And we're going to select the Open IV setup offline one. We don't want these ones because for some reason uh, they don't work. And so we want this one here, the Open IV setup underscore offline. I'm going to go and download that. Once that's downloaded, you open the .rar file. And you're going to open Open IV setup .exe. Just double click it. You're going to get this. You're going to select your language, either English or Russian. I'm English. Uh, and so I'm gonna, or I speak English, sorry. And so I'm gonna choose this one. So we press continue. It's gonna set up the necessary files uh, so it can actually work. There we go. Now that's done. We're gonna go ahead and want to agree to the terms of uh, service. I mean, I'm not gonna read all this because it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna press continue. Uh, it's gonna say install open to this computer. Now I'm just gonna go with the default. We're gonna go ahead and press continue after that's done, and then it'll start downloading. There we go. It's uh, oh, it's been completed successfully. So we press close, and now that that's done, it's going to open this. Uh, and you want to select Grand Theft Auto Win. Sorry, Grand Theft Auto V Windows. That's the one that we're on. Uh, it's going to say this: choose Grand Theft Auto V folder. And so to do this, what you're going to want to do is select Browse, and you're going to go to wherever your uh, Grand Theft Auto V folder is. So mine's already here, but look, if we go to Data. Uh, and then I'll go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, and then Common and Grand Theft Auto is there. So I'm going to select folder like that. And it'll, if you've done it right, it'll say successfully GTA 5.exe version, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Open IV can work with this file. So we select continue. It'll say do not forget to back up your original files before editing. You can if you want to, but I'm not going to because I don't really use normal GTA anyway. Um, it doesn't really do anything. You can just rem like move the the folders that you've put in that you're making somewhere else if you want to play the normal GTA. Uh, but again, I usually just stick to five M because it's a lot more fun, especially nowadays. Uh, so it will start Open IV. Here we are now. This is exactly what we want. Now, if you've if you've just installed Open IV and you've never used it before, you won't have either clothing or mods. I don't think you'll have mods anyway. Um, but because I've uh, used this before, I've, I've made these folders. Uh, but the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that edit mode is on. If edit mode isn't on, it's not going to work at all. So just make sure that that's on. Uh, then uh, you can either make a folder called mods. Oh, oops, sorry. I want to make either a folder called mods or clothing. I made one called clothing because it's a lot easier uh, to, you know, just it's clothing, isn't it? So it's all the stuff that I've made. Um, but once you've uh, made that folder, by right clicking then new folder and then just I'll call it clothing I'll, I'll make one as an example I'll call it clothing 2 because I've already got one you know clothing 2 and then in here is where you're going to put all your folders for other clothes uh, and so what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to get the model that you want and to do that you're going to want to go to a website called toby.space uh, and this has all the models uh, the names of the models for clothing on GTA. Now you can either use this um, or you can use templates that I've uh, already uh, gathered that are on my Discord server. Um, they'll That'll be in my description. Uh, it's all the stuff for like gang clothing and stuff like that. Um, I'll put the link in the description for that if you if you need it. It makes it a lot easier, I won't lie, because uh, you have to go through the files to find this. But if you want to make, say, let's say a hockey mask, um, like a gang mask, eventually here we are so there's a hockey mask here there's a few hockey masks in the game uh, i'm going to use this one because it's the default one uh, and you're going to go ahead and copy all the way up until where it says uh, the the bird or whatever kind of thing it is you don't want to copy the bird 004 or say you're copying a jbib uh, you don't want to copy like the the, the jbib 009 so you want to do a bird uh, you, you want to do copy anything other than the bird so if you want to go mp underscore m underscore free mode underscore 001 now this is basically the DLC that this mask was released in, and so with that done, we go to Open IV, we go to this search bar top right, we Control V or paste, 
then we press it'll say no items match your search you want to press search mp underscore m free mode in all uh directories or something like that you're going to remember to press search that and it'll come up with all this stuff now the one that we're going to want uh we'll let it you know search for the entire thing but the one that we're going to want is going to be a folder that has quite a few things in it we don't want one like folders that have one thing in it we want one that has quite a few things in it so if we uh scroll down and just have a little look here if it's already loaded I'm, it might have been loaded i'm not sure because mp underscore m underscore free mode 01 is like quite a common thing that you see in the gta files um it, there might be quite a few uh, compared to the other things that are like mp business mp you know stuff like that so if we just keep scrolling here we are here's the folders right so i'm yeah uh you want to find the one you don't want mp underscore m blah, 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 all this stuff you want exactly what we've searched which is mp underscore m underscore free mode 01 just that and so if we keep scrolling until we find that uh it'll be somewhere somewhere around here let's say there we go i finally found it uh it's the one that has the most things in uh, obviously it's the 1626 there we go on that open that and then we scroll down so the thing uh here that we didn't copy is bird underscore 004 and so that's what we're going to be looking for in this we're going to go look bird 004 there it is we open that um and we can we can view that mask now if you if it doesn't let you view it uh, what you're going to want to do is go to tools go to ASI manager and make sure that all of these are installed just like so and this is basically the extensions that you let you uh, view the model viewer and the texture viewer and stuff like that uh, but essentially yeah this is the mask that we wanted as you can see it's uh, it's got a oh, wrong one there's a picture on here of that mask that we wanted and so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and drag that to our desktop and then we're going to find uh we're going to go down we're going to scroll down past all these yd defaults until we find the yt defaults just like this and we're going to scroll down and find where it says it's, it's basically the same name except here we are this diff in between it uh, and so we want the one that says A. If you you've got to choose the one that has underscore A, not B, not C, A. Uh, so it's bird underscore diff underscore 004, which is the one that we want. We drag that to our desktop as well. Put those together, and then we're going to go back to Open IV. We're going to go to this uh, folder that we created, which uh, mine's called Clothing Two. So if I go to this Clothing Two, as you can see, it's empty. But I'm going to make a new folder called. I'm just going to call it Test Mask, and inside that folder. Is where we're going to put these two files that we've saved right and here we are here's the uh the files that we've saved now the thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to uh, go ahead and open the texture editor it'll open something weird looking like this you're going to want to guess x you want to press export selected and then make sure it's in uh the right thing so mine's test mask there we go save it as a png you've got to save it as a png otherwise it won't work uh and then you want to press save there we go just like that now i have a better thing for uh, masks which is this here uh, and so i'm going to use this because it shows you whereabouts the things are and what you you know what you want instead of this kind of thing that looks quite messy and all that kind of stuff so i'm going to use that one instead uh, and now you're going to want to open your editing uh, software so mine's i've got photoshop i'm going to put a cracked version of photoshop or a free version sorry of photoshop in my discord server if you want to go ahead and join that you can go ahead and download photoshop for completely free uh, so we're going to go ahead i'm going to go ahead and sorry and open photoshop now for me for some reason it comes up with this thing creative cloud uh something to do with a uh, thingy if i just press x on that it doesn't really you know it doesn't stop anything it opens uh, photoshop and so once you've opened photoshop just give it a chance to load you want to press file new now i usually tend to make mine 1000 by 1000 just because that's a decent size for it uh, you want to press create and then we're going to go ahead and drag on the uh if i just really quickly go here and get the right thing clothing to test mask and drag on this png that we ex exported in that file make sure it's the right size it sizes up with this and so basically you want to be somewhat good at photoshop to make clothing so you might have to practice quite a lot to get good at making clothing but look if we do this say we want to use our brush tool i'm going to make a new layer and i'm going to give it some kind of um just like a black kind of uh, front. 
Now I can hide that by pressing this I tool here at any point, just so I can see what I'm doing with this template here. And, um, so basically, let's say we want someone uh, who wants a mask that uh, has like an L on the top or an F, so should we say on the top. We'll uh, do F, uh, say they want it, I don't know, white, it's a black and white mask, something simple. Uh, we, I'm going to view that again so I can see what I'm putting in, but I'm going to turn the opacity down so I can also see, I don't know why that's not worked, hang on, there we go, uh, then F, and we're going to put that uh, in the middle of the mask up top, I'm going to make it a bit bigger, uh, just like that, that should do, there we go, uh, and then what I like to do is I kind of like to give my masks kind of texture, uh, and so if I were to just really quickly turn this opacity back up, and then find, okay, let's just search cool white pattern, uh, and then find one that you think looks nice. So, say you want, I don't know, uh, which one looks good? We'll go with that one, that looks pretty cool. If I copy that image or save that image, that'd be better because it has higher resolution, higher quality. So we save that, and we go over here to here with downloads, and we drag that onto the Photoshop, and it comes up here, as you can see. We're going to place that layer underneath the F so you can see the F. Uh, and because you can see it looks a bit weird here at the moment, but if we go ahead and press on this thing here, where it says normal, you can look at a few different blending options. Now, some of them don't work, but some of them have like really cool looking things. Now, this pattern in particular is not like it's going to work with any of these blending things. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and turn the opacity down instead. Uh, and I'm, I think that will look quite good. Say you want something like, I don't know, white sparkles. Um, I've got, where is it, never mind, it doesn't want to, I don't think it's here, oh yeah it is, I've got sparkles, uh, they're, they're, I've got again, there's a uh, cool like PNGs that you can use in my Discord server, feel free to join that, uh, I've got red sparkles, but if we go blending options, uh, colour overlay, I can make them white just like so, uh, and now something that's really cool that you can do, here's a quick tip, uh, with masks, is you can go ahead and press edit, and then, uh, where is it? It'll be somewhere. Is it edit? No. Uh, I think it's, oh yeah, filter, sorry. You want to go noise and add noise. And then, it, it's a bit weird, but it, it's hard to hard to explain. But if you kind of just like turn that up a bit, it makes it look, you can see on this preview here, it kind of just makes it look quite cool. Um, so that kind of e extra kind of effect. It works better on other colors. But if we just do that, it looks pretty cool. Uh, now it does make the the file quite high, um, quite high storage, not not incredibly high, just higher than usual, um, just because noise is quite a heavy thing to add on. But say that we want, I don't know, an eye drip. Have I got an eye drip PNG in my files? Yeah, we've got one. Uh, there's, again, there's better ones in my Discord server. I just haven't downloaded them because, well, I couldn't be bothered. Um, and then we go ahead, blending options color overlay and make it white just like that I'm gonna hide the black thing in the the overlay just so I can see where I'm putting this I'm gonna have it on just the one eye I think I think it'll look better on just the one eye so I'm gonna put it around make it this the right size uh, I'm gonna extend it a bit like that make it a bit shorter there we go and then there we go uh, as you can see We've got the white eye. Uh, now again, if you want to add like mouths or anything, you can just put it on where the mouth thing is. Uh, you, you know, it, it shows you uh, this PNG uh, for the template will be in my Discord server as well. Again, I know I've said it quite a lot, but it's quite useful. I've got all these things uh, that you can use. Uh, so if we go here, uh, go to our, the the one that we saved it in. Make sure it again it's a PNG. Save it. Okay. And then if we go to the YTD file, press replace. And again, if, if it doesn't say replace, it's because you haven't got edit mode on. Make sure edit mode is on. Uh, so you open the YTD file, you press replace, and then you select the one that we've just made in Photoshop and saved. So we double click that, and as you can see, it's here. It might be a bit bigger than the other one, but that's fine. It just means it higher quality. So you press save, you open the YDD, and as you can see, we've made a pretty cool looking mask. I do quite like this actually. I think I'd add a bit more stuff to that F there to make it look a bit cooler. Uh, if it's not, if it if it looks like uh, this, like it's orange or pink or something, you just want to press add texture and then select the YTD. And there you go. That's how you make 5M clothing. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If this does help you, please feel free 
uh, to like and subscribe you don't have to but it does help the channel out massively and i would appreciate it but without further ado that's the end of the video and i appreciate you for watching thank you and bye